Hi guys, welcome back for another video. My name is Emily. If you are new here, thank you for clicking my video. Don't forget to also click that like and subscribe button. It would be much appreciated. So today, the cat's distracting me already. I don't know how I can film when he is so adorable. It's really hard. Um, today's video, we are going to talk about five not the easiest house plants, but like your next step up. I've done the five easiest house plants. I will list them above, whichever side it's on. Um, so you guys can check out that video. And when you've sort of accomplished those five, you don't know what to move on to. So we're gonna talk about like the next five. And yeah, so stay tuned for those five. So the first one we're gonna talk about is the Monstera adansonii. So it is this one right here. It is also called a Swiss cheese plant or a something else. I feel like there's another com not another name that people use, but it is a Monstera adansonii. It is adorable and beautiful and I have three of them. So this is one. I just pulled this down because it's the smallest of them, but you can let them trail or climb. I'm going to, don't attack that please cat. Flip you around flip you around and show you all my, my other two. So this one here, you can see it is trailing upwards. So this is the wide leaf variety. And then I have this one here, which is a little bit smaller than the other one. And it's the thin leaf variety. So this one's just your, a little bit next step up. It's still an easy house plant to take care of but it's gonna give you a little bit more variety because of the holes in the leaves. So it is definitely a good option. So plant number two of this journey is this Hoya Crimson Princess. You can see how beautiful the leaves are with its pink stem. I need to fix the trellis on this. You can see that it's sideways, um, but that's okay. Um, this one is a little bit I call it a little bit of a harder plant because it's sometimes hard to not water your plants. And Hoyas like to be very dry in between waterings. That's how they stay nice and happy. So that, yeah, that's plant number two. So this next plant, I don't even think I can pick up. It is a pep Peperomia Hope. That's what's above me. That is not what I'm trying to talk about. Um, it is a Philodendron Hope. And I'm adding it in here because it is just, it has these really cool shaped leaves. It's gonna be a little bit bigger, but it's a little bit cooler than just like a Monstera Deliciosa per se. Um, I don't find that they're that difficult of plants at all. You just let it dry out and it's totally happy. Um, I actually, mine gets a few hours of direct sun. As you can see, he's getting some direct sun right now. And he just gave me this new leaf right here why it's all crinkled it will flatten out as it gets a little bit older the cat is nibbling on my hand I can't flip you I'm leaning against this cat tower <laughs> so plant number four is a begonia so I actually only have the one begonia and I would like to collect some more but this is a angel wing begonia and I'm calling it a little bit of a harder plant because you have to make sure it has a little bit more humidity. As you can see, there's certain spots on it that have not gotten enough humidity, so they get a little crispy. So I'm calling this a little bit of a harder plant, but it's so beautiful and they can actually get really big too. So that is going to be plant number four. So as you can see here, my fifth and final plant for your beginner house plants, stepped up, leveled up, is this ZZ. I can't keep it still, it just flies a little bit. But I maybe should have added this one to our top five easiest house plants because you really don't do anything with it. But this one is, it's just really funky. It grows decently tall, but it's just really funky the way that the leaves come out. Give you a little close up there. But you just leave him alone. He doesn't need like any light. He pretty much just hangs out in the corner of my house and that's about it. So that is my fifth and final one. So thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. Uh, stay tuned next week and we will definitely have another one. If you made it all the way to the end, leave me a little angel emoji for our angel wing begonia for sure. Let's do that. And I hope you guys really enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. I just
just dumped dirt all over the ground. Hi. Hi, Needy. How are you doing? I can't show you off. Hi. Are you being needy? It's every time I go to film, you just you just decide you need attention. Every time. <laughs>